Welcome back to EducateTube.com. My name is Sipsky, your host. Today I'll be showing you how to make a rechargeable LED light using a lithium battery. This is a 250 milliamp hour lithium battery. You can get it from um, any portable devices that has rechargeable lithium battery. Okay. You can also buy it online as well. If you want, uh, I'll place a link where you can buy it directly from me for around five bucks. And then um, there is also what you need is a, I don't know if you can see that, there's the uh, 150 uh, ohms resistor. This is SMD, surface mount diodes or resistor. And then of course you need the LED lights. This is from the Christmas light. Now, um, if you buy the lithium battery, I will include all these three together, okay, for five bucks. Plus, of course, shipping and handling for another buck or two, um, depending on where you live, okay. But here we go. We have three items, and uh, let's get started. Okay, so what we want to do is you see the you see this long terminal, right? Metal. You have the positive and then you have the negative. Okay, so if, how do you know it's positive and negative? You'll see that the longer end, okay, piece of wire coming out here on the uh, LED light, the longer end represents the positive end. What you want to do is you want to solder in with the resistors like that, and then on the other end, you want to um, have a maybe a prong or something to come out of that resistor, okay and then attach this to the positive end to the battery and then the other end you want to attach to the negative end to the negative uh, terminal of the battery all right so something like that okay so before we start you might want to apply a little bit of flux to the um the soldering part that you want to solder okay, here is a flux it's a water soluble I'm going to apply a little bit to the um, resistor, one end, and then as well as the end of the, you can see that, end of the positive terminal, like this, because I want the, um, the silver solder to just flow in. Okay. Let's get the solder. Well, first of all, let's heat it up. When you put the flux in, you should add a bit of heat. There we go. A bit of heat. Mm -hmm. There we go. A lot of bit of heat there. Mm, this thing is so fragile. Eh? So tiny. We're working with like tiny circuits, so this is the Okay. Now next thing I want to do is get the solder. There we go. I got it in. See? It just, what had happened is that once you put a flux in along the area where you want to solder, it just, like glue, it just go to the area where the flux is and these uh, melted or liquid solder will just attach itself to that. And you can see it there. Okay? And uh, like I said, I might want to add a bit more and flux on this side. Let's see. I applied it on here. I'm going to put the soldering component, this one, here, to the other end. 
Yeah, give me a lot of metal here. Add some more flux and then Perfect, that's what I want. See? I want one end to have this soldering component to it. Now you want it to be, yeah. Perfect. Okay, so now of course you want to surface, put it on a surface uh, it, um, mount like uh, metal or something like that. Actually, insulator, not metal to hold on to this so that it won't break but for now I just want to demonstrate to you here we have a positive end and you have the resistor, the 150 ohms resistor and uh, with a solder sticking out like this and what you want to do just for now we're going to just hook it up Okay. later on what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a pin Allow me to slip it in like this. Okay, look, slip it in like this with the male, and then this side is a female, and then you hook it up like that, and you have a male, and then you have a female pin, and you go, there we go, see? Perfect! That's what I like. Okay, so what I'm gonna get, what I'm gonna do now is gonna put a female pin on this side. Okay, so I'm finished. You can see here the LED light hook up to a lithium battery okay 250 milliamp lithium battery and now if I don't know if you can see that let me take it out for you okay if you look carefully at the end of this lith uh, this uh, LED light you can see a Let's see, I'll show you it right there. 150 ohms, solder in with a female pin right there attached to it, soldered in, so that I can attach the lithium battery, the male end, slip it into the female, the positive terminal like this. Okay, and then on the other side, I have the negative terminal female pin and the male terminal of the LED light and voila we got a full working LED, LED light pretty good huh the cool thing about this system is that this is a rechargeable lithium battery and so it can be recharged several hundred times between 200 to 400 times maybe more depending on you know how much uh, capacity it has in here it's 250 amp hour so you know even at let's say you charge 400 times it will still work it's just that it may not hold as much charge but anyway yeah that's pretty cool and each time you charge it you have at least I would say 6 to 10 hours of continuous use of light so this light could be on for six to ten hours just powered by 250 milliamp hours now how did I know that well I'll have another video showing you the calculation the reason for that is because I put a 150 ohms resistor and uh, I'll use the mathematic equation to show you but that means the current that's running across this LED light is only 25 milliamp hour and since this is 250 milliamp hour battery in theory it should last about 10 hours but because of the efficiency it won't be 100 percent with, with some time depending on the devices between 65 to 90 percent efficiency so you're talking about between 6 to close to 10 hours right so 90 percent of 
you know, 250 will give you uh, that much. So probably nine hours, nine and a half. Okay, so six to nine, to nine and a half hour. Thanks for watching, educate2.com. So I'll show you next time the calculation. We'll show you the math behind this.